Colorado Time Systems Virtual Meet service has been created to allow swim teams to compete together virtually, eliminating the need to be at the same facility. Each team swims at their own facility while running the Virtual Meet client software. The Virtual Meet service then takes the scoreboard data feed from each facility and transmits it in real time to the opposing facility where it can be combined with local scoreboard data to display a seamless competition between the two teams. Currently, the Virtual Meet service is compatible with CTS video boards and CTS swim timers, including System 5, 6, and Gen 7, with expanded offerings planned for future updates. For the initial release, the Virtual Meet service is designed to handle a meet with two teams, run over a maximum of four consecutive days. There are two main components to the Virtual Meet service, the Virtual Meet web portal and the Virtual Meet desktop client. In this video, we will cover how to get started with CTS's Virtual Meet service using the web portal. We will be covering the desktop client in a later video. The Virtual Meet web portal is where a user can create teams and organizations as well as purchase and create meets. To begin, navigate to virtualmeets.coloradotime.com. Click either of the sign up, sign in buttons located in the top right of the screen or on the dashboard. If this is your first time signing in, you will need to create an account. Click sign up now to create an account and input your desired credentials. Once an account has been created, the page will redirect to the settings page. Here, you will enter your organization's name, city, and state. The virtual meet service is currently available in the United States only. Click the add new team button to open a pop-up where a team name can be added. Click save changes after adding a team name. Repeat for all teams associated with the organization. After adding teams, click Save. Once logged in, the Virtual Meets tab will become available in the menu on the left side of the screen. Click the Virtual Meets tab to open the Virtual Meets screen. Here is where Meets can be purchased, created, viewed, and edited. When first logging in, there will not be any Meets available. Click the Purchase Meets button to be taken to the Purchase Meets screen. Select the number of meets you would like to purchase or choose one of the meat bundles. After selecting the desired quantity of meats, click Purchase to be taken to a secure payment site. Once the payment has been processed, you will be redirected to a receipt page. Navigate to the Virtual Meats tab. You will now see the number of purchased meats has been added to the number of available meats. To create a new meat, click the Create New Meat button to open the meat creation screen. Enter the name for the meat being created in the meat name field. Click select dates in the date range section to open a calendar where dates for the meat can be selected. Click the home team drop down menu to select the home team for the meat. Click the add guest team button to open a pop up where a guest team can be entered. Search for a guest user by their organization, display name, first name, or last name. Once the guest user has been found, click the Teams drop-down to select the desired team from the guest's organization. The guest team must have created an account before you can select them for a meet. Click Add to add the guest team to the meet. The Virtual Meet service currently supports one guest team per meet. When satisfied with the meet information, click Save Changes to create the meet. All meets, both created and invited to, will appear in the existing meet section of the Virtual Meets tab. Click Edit to change details of a created meet. In our next video, we will go over how to set up and operate the Virtual Meets desktop client. Please see our website for more details and requirements for the Virtual Meet service.